Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to another video on my channel and in this video I will be talking about why we dropped a client with our SMA. So, maybe you are thinking, whoa, why did they drop a client themselves? But it was pretty obvious, it was a really good decision for us because we will get a lot of trouble if we didn't drop the client. So, also, be sure to subscribe to my channel, smash the subscribe button, put your post notifications on so you get updated every single day when I provide you guys with free value to help grow your SMA or your online business. So, let's dive right into the video, guys. Yo, before we go, wait a couple of seconds. Before we go, be sure to check the links in the description because if I mention a software or a tool, it's probably in there. And make sure to subscribe to my channel and set your post notifications on. So, let's dive right into the video, guys. Yo, what's up, guys? So, as is in the intro of this video, I'll be talking about why we dropped a client. So, why did we drop a client with our SMA? That's really simple and it was a really logic choice for us and for the client because it wasn't going really good, we weren't getting results, it took way too much time and we had to do a lot of useless things but our client thought it was really important that we were doing these things so yeah we dropped the client because it was really like grunt work and a waste of, and a waste of time for us so we were not getting huge results. So why did we not get huge results? Because the client had a really difficult, difficult business. So it was a car wrap client. So car wrapping clients are really cool to work with because it's a cool product and stuff like that. But it's really difficult because people can go to them but also go to car dealerships or whatever to get their car wrapped. So there's a lot of choices for the clients and that makes it really hard for us to target people because they can go anywhere for that so it's really hard to target and our client also didn't really have a good idea about like where his typical clients were how much money they were making and stuff like that so it was pretty difficult for us to target but nevertheless you should have should have fi be finding the targeting really soon but yeah it was better for us to drop the client because we were not getting results and that, that's exactly what the client is paying us for to get results and we didn't get it so also we didn't really like to ask money to someone if we knew we were, we were not getting results even if we did a lot of work for him we didn't like to get paid by him because we were not bringing more money so we were not getting results but so we are not getting results and it took way too much time and why did it take way too much way too much time because we had to do social media mentions which is a pain in the ass because the client really wants to like have his page really really active so you had to post like four or five times a week and it's really a lot especially if you have to do that every single week besides the other campaigns that you are running for him so this was a really a waste of time and besides that he went to the new website and he said okay we can do it because we had a monthly retainer from us and yeah, we were starting the website, we made a cool one-pager. He didn't like it, so we said, okay, what do you want? And he really wanted like a really in-depth website. So the website took like two or three weeks to make, so we had to make a new website. And yeah, then we saw like, whoa, this is a really waste of time because making a website is fun. But if it takes like three weeks when you are working really hard on it, like I was working two to three hours a day sometimes on the website, which is a lot because often I make websites in only two hours with like when it's one page because you are using software for that. And yeah, it really took way too much time. He wanted to have really weird stuff on the website. He wanted to start his blog on the website. We had to fix that shit. And yeah, it was really a waste of time. So our client wanted to start blogging, but he didn't know how. Oops. But he didn't know how to place it on the website. So we had to do that shit. So it was really a waste of time for us because like posting blog posts blog posts is not something I want to get paid for because it's a really waste of time and it's not something that I like. So yes, that's why it was really a waste of time, it took too much time for us and yeah, if we count like everything, we had to do social media management, work on the website, do the paid ads campaigns, we had to do a lot of work for one client for not a lot of money because he was only paying us 1k a month, which you may think is a lot, but it's not a lot when you are running SMA because, yeah, we have costs too and stuff like that, so. So, yeah, it took way too much time in, in a week and, yeah, because of that, you didn't really like to work with the client, so it was a really cool guy. I really liked the guy, but not his company, so it was a really pain in the ass and, like, 
whenever we did a new campaign, so whenever we did a new campaign, it exploded for like three days. We had massive results, but after a couple of days, like this whole audience saw the ad, reacted to the ad, and stuff like that. So. So it was really hard for us to scale it because the, the audience was so small. So whenever we did a new campaign, it exploded for like two to three days. But after that, it, it died. So like we didn't get new leads. And so he was always really happy two days. And then it's so like, dude, I'm not getting leads, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, we were like, dude, the audience is too small. We have to build it. But he didn't really like that. So he didn't want to do some brand awareness. He just wanted leads. Which is good as a business owner, but if you know that your audience is too small, it's also really important to build an audience because when you don't have an audience, you have nothing. Like, for example, this is what I'm doing with my channel. I'm just building an audience because I know I don't have a big following at the moment. So it is really important, and especially when you're running like an, a normal business or no, not an online business, you really have to focus on your audience because. The area he was living in, there were a lot of car rappers, like his friends were also car rappers and stuff like that. So it was really important for him to do more brand awareness, but he didn't really like that. So he didn't really like the brand awareness campaigns. So that really sucks for us because this was like the strategy to build a brand, so build an audience and then retire to the audience, but it didn't work and stuff like that. So. We are not getting results, it took way too much time and we had to do useless things like social media management, as I said, website creation, all this shit, so we had to do a lot of useless things and also the client was really, it was really hard to communicate with them. So yeah, he was like, he was contacting me on Messenger in a group chat. Then he was also contacting me on Messenger on my own profile, so so yeah, he was also contacting me on the Messenger group chat on my own Messenger, so he was calling for really stupid stuff. And besides that, he also found out that I had WhatsApp, so he was also contacting me on WhatsApp, and yeah. So it was really like pain in the ass because I could never like focus for 20 minutes without having a message from him and if someone like con one of our clients is contacting me with something really important I think it's important so I will answer it immediately but sometimes it's just like oh can you do this can you do that but stuff that's already planned you have been talking about it so a lot of useless things that are a waste of time and I really don't like that when it comes to client because he's just paying his 1k a month and not 10k a month so yeah, this is like why we dropped the client and if you have clients like this, you should definitely drop them too unless it's the only client that you have, but still, it's really a pain in the ass to work with a client like that. So, that was the video for today guys, I hope you learned something from it and you got some new insights about why we dropped the client, why you should, should be able to drop some clients too and yeah, I will see you tomorrow in another video guys.